What's up, y'all? Hey, good good um, evening, good night, good morning, wherever y'all may be. I got to come in this kitchen and put this stuff up before I go to sleep. But I just, I've been trying to go to sleep, can't go to sleep, but I just been up thinking all day. Um, hey, Mama Tony. So, um, I'm not live on, hey, best friend. What's up, Jonathan? Uh, I'm not live on King Jive's show, the first page, because YouTube said that I was in violation and reporting graphic information and all kind of things like that. So now I got to deal with all this drama. I got to put all this food up I just cooked. This yummy. So, um, and then I can cook some yellow rice. <laughs> hey, Greg. Hey, Julian. Hey, Sharon. Greg, how is your dad doing? I haven't got a chance to reach back out to you and talk to you. Um, how's your dad doing? Um, anyways, you all. So, I got to put this food up. This looks really horrible right here, but whatever. Okay, this is cool now. So I had posted the video. I post, this looks so horrible. I posted the video like some days ago. I got an email from YouTube saying that, you know, I had posted something that was violent, that goes against the community rules. And I said to myself, Baby, this video of this young man getting shot and killed is all over the place. Hey, Camila. This video, hey, William, uh, Jermaine, what's up? Hey, hey, Delvarn. I said, this video is all over the place. Can you explain that to me? I'm so tired. I'm just like, what, what, what is it? What is it that, that I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I let, let's reason together, okay? Let's let's reason together. Let's let's re oh I ain't got a room in my refrigerators. Hold on. I move this. Well, I put my jellos right there. Wait a minute, huh? I put some eggs. You know what? If I put it no, I'll put the eggs right here. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm like, I have posted this video. Hold on, y'all. I have posted this video some days ago. And I'm just like, you know, the people need to see what's going on. Now, mind you, when I posted it, the video only got like 200 views at that particular time. The moment I post, I'm telling you, baby, I got an email. Baby, I got an email from YouTube. And they took my stuff right on down. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. I said, now I got a big thing of rice. I said, how y'all going to take my video down? And I'm just reporting what was reported to me, right? You know, in the words, Earl Carter. Um, hey, Nashe. Now, Nashe asked me, she said, Jazz, why ain't you reported on this video? And I'm like, I did report on it. I did post a video. I did post it. However, YouTube took my video down. Hey, Danny. YouTube took my video down. And I'm just like, how is it that we can see all the stupid stuff going on, right? We can see all the stupid stuff going on on YouTube, Facebook, but the moment that, and you know, white people, y'all excuse me. I'm going to say what I need to say, period. 
I ain't racist or none of that, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Now, why am I apologizing anyways? Uh, anywho, um, baby, I'm talking, we, you got magna people all out here with their foolishness, and you got folks out here with these little racial, I'm like, but then when somebody gets shot and killed, we don't want to tell that, but we, we'll show, we'll show a black man getting killed by a police officer in Chicago, we'll show that, hey Sean, we'll show that. I'm like, this is stupid. Anybody want some yellow rice? I done cooked way too much yellow rice. I'm like, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm trying to understand I'm trying to understand how and why it took y'all so long to arrest these two uh, white peoples, these two white men. I'm trying to understand why it took y'all so long. Why it took y'all so long to arrest these black, these white men? Hello, why it took y'all so long? Because I promise you, if it was a black man, you would arrest, baby, I'm talking about let his face would have came across that screen. Hey, Miss Patricia, let his face would have came across that screen. Baby, I'm talking about everybody and a mama them would have went and got him locked up. Now, I know, oh, sweet Lord. Oh, man. Okay. Is it? No, that's too. Ooh, that's too big. Ooh, that's. Ooh. Everybody, mama them would have had that man arrest. You hear me? Everybody. The people is outraged. The people are outraged. It is all out war. It is, let me tell you something. We, as much as we live in a country that is free, the land of the free, the home of the brave, as much as we say this stuff, baby, we are not free. We are not free. Hello? We are not free. We are not free. And I mean, and who said that? Gina, listen. And you're absolutely right, baby. Listen, they arrested the man. That's fine. But baby, we're going we gonna to see what they see about a whole conviction. Are they going to convict the man? That's the good question right there. Are they going to convict him? Oh, Lord. Cornbread right there. Are they going to convict him is the better question. Are they going to convict him is the better question. Let me tell you something. What's up, Ty? Hey, Tyrus. Little brother, what's up? Let me turn this light off in this kitchen. Oh, Lord. Absolutely. Now, and you, may, you brought up a good point. We saw this whole situation with the Trayvon Martin case, right? We saw this with the whole Trayvon Martin case. Uh, Trayvon Martin was jogging with a hoodie on and had a, a soda and some Skittles in his hand. And the man lied and said the boy had a gun. Here this boy didn't have nothing in his hand and they pulled up on him and was shooting at the young man, shot the boy. He was trying to run and fell dead. How, please, okay, please, you know, I live in a very nice neighborhood, but um, 
I don't want to believe that people in this neighborhood would do some foolishness like that. I just don't want to believe that. But I, I'm going to tell you I like this. And I said this yesterday, and I'm going to say this again. But before I say that, I'm going to say this. I am on King Jive Show After Party right now for about a week because YouTube flagged my page for posting the video. So I have to wait a week before I can do anything. Okay? So I'll be on King Jive Show After Party. But I, I just want to say this to everybody else that's not colored. Okay? I want to say this to everyone that's not colored. And Delvin, I know you on here, so take a listen, little brother. If you believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe in Jesus, God, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, you think you're going to go to heaven. I just have a, uh, we just need to have a conversation really quick. And that's this. Do you think the God that you serve is going to be okay? And I, I think it's a legit question. Is going to be okay with white people killing black people? Hey, Kelly. Hey, love. What's up? It's my boo. Do you think that God that you serve is going to be okay with white men killing black men? I mean, heck, I mean, we could even say, do you think he going to be okay with black folks killing black folks? But I just, I, I, for, for all this, this America KKK, America KKK, for all of this, let me tell you something. Let me tell you really quick. If you honestly in your heart, hear me, if you honestly in your heart feel that it is okay to still walk around and think and feel that slavery is okay, then that lets me know what you feel and how you think. If you honestly feel that shooting black people and hanging people up in trees and things like that is okay. And you think that the God that you serve is going to give you a thumbs up. All right. Then we all need to reevaluate this thing that we call the Bible. Hello. See, we, we don't. Oh, okay. Oh, uh -huh. we, we, we don't. We don't want to have this conversation, do we? We won't. We, we don't want to have this conversation, do we? See, I done woke myself up out of my sleep and got to put my food up in the refrigerator and can on and stuff. Y'all done woke me up. If you all that read this good Bibles, that read this Bible and you feel that it's okay to kill somebody because they don't look like you, sound like you, talk like you, act like you, and you think it's okay to kill somebody. Hey, Shannon, baby. Hey, boo. You think it's okay to kill somebody. Hey, Blaine. What's up, man? You think it's okay to kill somebody because you feel like your Bible is telling you it's okay. No, Shannon. We need to reevaluate all of this. If you feel like the God that you serve is okaying your actions, if you feel like the Jesus Christ that you say that you believe in and you say that you serve is, is okaying all of your actions and this type of behavior, we need to reevaluate all of this. We need to... We need to reevaluate all of this. See, see, I'm woke right now. I'm woke. We need to reevaluate all of this. Huh? We need to reevaluate. Because undoubtedly, undoubtedly, blah, blah, and, 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 oh, here, over there, 
You okay? You okay? You know what I'm saying? Hearing him thought he was okay that that nigga was running through the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? He was running through the neighborhood. He was there. He was running. Y'all, I ain't, I ain't got a chance to act up in a long time. Y'all got to give it to me today. Okay, I'm sleeping up time. He was there. You see that nigga over there running? <laughs> you see that nigga over there running? Bub, you better go get your gun right there. We better go get that thing right now. Bub, you better go get your gun right there. Bub, you better go get your gun right there. And then they get out their car. Excuse me, nigger. Excuse me. <laughs> what you doing here? What are you doing here? You ain't run your ear on out of here right now. Listen, listen, listen. I'm telling you right now, this, <laughs> this is out of hand. I mean, it's comical, but this is out of hand. This is out of hand. This is out of hand. And I'm and I'm quite sure this was not his first time running through this neighborhood. I'm quite sure that that here, whatever dude's name is, I'm quite sure. <laughs> I'm quite sure um they've seen him before. I'm I'm really sure that they've seen him before. And, but to take it upon you, baby, this is not, this is not 1918. This is not 1875. This ain't, you know, this ain't back in the day. You know, this ain't even a time when the slave ships went to Africa and picked black folks up and brought them over here to Americas. This ain't even that time. Baby, we are living in 2020. And baby, you will catch a left and a right, okay? And you probably will catch a bullet too. Let me tell y'all something. Listen, listen, Linda, listen. Um, I I love the Lord. I love the Lord. But as my old saying go, I'm saved. But you can catch a bullet. You hear me? Hello. Hello. Now we should not be walking around here ready to shoot, ready to kill, or anything like that, because we're all, we're all precious in the sight. Ain't that, ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? We all precious in the sight, right? We yellow, black, and white, they are precious in the sight. She the little, little children of the world. We precious. We're precious. We are precious. Precious! We are precious in the sight. There is no differentiating. You get what I'm trying to say. There is no variation of or ranking or whatever the case may, may be. Because I promise you, when you check up out of here, you're going to have to stand before them for yourself. There's not going to be no black God, no white God, no African, no Jew, no, no Greek, no Hebrew. Baby, we all, honey, listen here. We all going to get judged. Mm -hmm. We all going to get judged. So to the black folks that feel like white folks is the white devils and carrying on and things like that, you too gonna get judged. Hello, somebody. You too gonna get judged. You too gonna have to stand before the master and, and answer for your deeds, your evil deeds. Hello to, 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 the, to the black folks, to the black people that feel like all white folks is evil, they hate for they nest, they smell like dogs and carrying on. You too gonna have to stand before the father. We're not going to leave nobody out. We all know. Oh, God, no. We're not going to leave nobody out. Absolutely not. White peoples, 
Y'all that think black folks are monkeys and carrying on, and we are breeders and carrying on, and we got long dinglings, and we going to be out here and give you all endless pleasures and carrying on and stuff like that, and we just ain't good for nothing but just making babies and being lazy and all kind of stuff like that, you too going to have to stand before the violence. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. We, we Yeah. We ain't nothing but, you think we some dirty foots and carrying on, we lazy, we, we, we nothing but a statistic. Yep. You too going to have to stand before the Father. You got to stand before him. You going to have to stand before him. Absolutely. To, to, to the black folks and white folks who think Chinese folks ain't good enough but to do long there, long there, long there. You do long there, you know, long there, you know, long there, long there, long there. Oh, Luffy, 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 Luffy. You want Chinese right? Want Chinese right? Want Chinese right? Want white right? Brown right? Want shirt right? right? Want chicken right? right? You too go ahead and stand before him. I, we all, we we all, hello, we all going to have to have our day, okay? We all going to have to have our day. And so I was trying to find the, the screenshot of, um, I'll post it on Facebook, of YouTube taking my video down and want to give me a strike on my channel because they said I'm violating the graphics and things and, and this horrific and stuff. I'm reporting the news. I'm reporting the news. I, I, I didn't see y'all having a problem. Hello, I didn't see y'all having a problem discussing the horrific facts that was going on with R. Kelly. I didn't see nobody having a problem with the fact that R. Kelly was out here skeeting and jeezing on these girls' faces and folks want to put the videos and stuff out like I didn't see nobody have a problem with that. Nobody. Nobody, baby. Who can skid it like you? I can I can Who can drip on down your face? Nobody but Kelly. I I, I had, didn't didn't I didn't see nobody had a problem with that. See, when it comes down to when it comes down to black people. Hello, when it comes down to black people, there is no problem exploiting the fact of our ignorance. There isn't there isn't a problem when it comes down to exploiting our ignorance. But what about when it comes down to exploiting another nationality's ignorance, another race's ignorance? Because what we saw of the shooting of that young, not just forgetty black. The shooting of that young man was pure, utter ignorance. Y'all don't like this. Y'all really don't like this. It was pure, utter ignorance. That's what it was. Pure, utter ignorance. Pure, utter ignorance. And all we're doing is exploiting pure, utter ignorance. Ignorance. Hey, Miss Sheila, it's dumb. It's dumb. If, if, if you, and I, I keep repeating myself, but if you feel that it's okay, white people, and I, I just, I just really want you to be honest. Hey, Mika, baby, I just want you to be honest. I want all colors of people to be honest. If you felt that that was okay, just put put in the comments say you felt it was okay. I want you to be 100. See, because I need to know if you 100 with it or not. See, because I need to know how to deal with you. I need to know how to, how to adjust myself to deal with you. Black people, if you feel that you would have done the same thing. Okay, let, let's call it what it is. I just need y'all to hold your, hold your horses for a second. Hold your horses for a second. Now, to my black folks, y'all know y'all was calling these white people all kind of names. That cracker, that peck of wood, that honky, that honky tonk, you know. Y'all know. 
If y'all felt that if that she was on the other foot and they would have did that to a white boy, if you felt that was okay, please say so. Please say so, because I need to know how to deal with you and how to deal with you accordingly. Hello, praise God. I mean, me personally, let me tell you something. I feel that life is precious. No matter who, what, where, when, or why. Life is precious. Did I say, hey, Miss Sheila? Hey, Miss Sheila. Hey, Jared. Hey, Chris. Travis, what's up, y'all? Hey, Trey. Life is precious. But obviously, it doesn't mean anything. This is all stupid. It's stupid and it's sad. It's stupid and it's sad. It's dumb. It's really dumb. But you know what? It's late in the evening. And I'm going to make sure that this video is on YouTube. Since I can't post right now on my regular King Jive show page on YouTube, we going to be posting on the after party. So I can't post no more funeral announcements on King Jive show. I'm going to post them on um, King Jive show after party. So make sure y'all subscribe. Thank y'all so much, babe. We are at 40 Two forty three thousand subscribers. Thank y'all so much. See, change is good. Change is good. See how God blesses? Change is good. And we're gonna keep on moving. And 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 yep, just leave it alone, Mario. Let it go. It has been fun tonight. I love you all. King Jazz over and out.